I want to take a few minutes of your time and, and share with you why, um, and sort of kind of set up uh, the night and share with you why I was interested in doing this uh, message on tonight, this, this, this conference on tonight, so that we don't just show you just a lot of preaching and a lot of singing, but to uh, put it in perspective. Uh, um, my mom and my dad had nine children together. My dad went out of the wedding barn and had 15 other children by six women in the projects. So my mother was not like the parents of today who uh, knew anything about baby mamas or baby mama drama. I came up from a, in a time in the day where uh, the older folks kept secrets and they didn't share a lot of things. And many of, the, of them who are still alive today they don't do postings on social media because it goes against the grain of, 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 of who they really, really are. The scriptures teach us that at the moment you receive salvation and give your life to the Lord, the minute you get saved, that all of your sins at that time is canceled. The scriptures also teaches us that those sins that you never committed is passed down even to the fourth generation. So there are things that you were doing, you got delivered, set free from, but then you have a child and you begin to see your old sins rise up in your new child. It is a generational transfer. And so it's extremely important that we understand that um, our son could uh, be the, the mother's child, the mother's son could be her son, or he could be his daddy's child. And so as they're coming up, you begin to see certain traits and you scratch your head and ask yourself, where did this come from? How did we get to this particular place? What I wanted to do was to make sure that my daddy's sins did not uh, come up in me. My grandfather uh, uh, never went to school. Well, his father never went to school. My grandfather was taken out of school in the second grade. My father dropped out in the ninth grade. I dropped out in the ninth grade. My son dropped out in the 12th grade. So you can see the generational perpetuation and how it, 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 it happens. Now, we're all good now, but um, unless you confront certain spirits, those spirits comes back and they attack you. Um, if you were to ask my mother what type of a son I am, she says, he's the greatest son there is. Uh, my daughters say that I'm an outstanding, phenomenal father. My friends say I'm the most loyal, best friend that uh, they could have. Uh, but my uh, wife says that I'm a bad husband ex-wife that is how is it that you can be a phenomenal son a loyal friend a great dad and a bad husband it happens because many of us don't speak the language of relationship and i'm not talking about the five love languages that is was made up by a psychologist in a in a room someplace i'm talking about the true language of relationship which is most men don't know how to speak women, and most women don't know how to speak man. And so tonight, before the night is over, I believe me and the pastor is going to teach you ladies how to speak man. And maybe you can help us how to speak, teach us how to speak woman. I heard a woman in the audience says, well, bless the Lord. <laughs> you need to teach us right now. So let me say this to you. That's very, very true. M most men has an idea or of what a perfect woman is or what a perfect woman should be. For most men, they need four women to make up that one perfect woman. Four. Now, now, some of you are sitting there and you're saying to yourself, ah, well, I ain't, nah, nah, nah. Oh, yeah. yet you will go and sing the song, I'm every woman. So you're going to sing the I'm every woman song? Nah, nah, nah. Which, which, which one are you going to do? Because you understand it when it comes down to the song, but you don't understand it or agree with it when it comes down to the manifestation of it. So most men need about four women to make up one woman. It's sort of like this water bottle. They need a cap. They need a container. They need content. 
and they need a label, a cap, content, a container, and a label. That's what they're looking for when they really, really get serious. For many men, it's hard to find it because you have a lot of women who are moving around uncapped, which means that their substance is dripping. And so what he does, he chases the drip. He don't like you, he just like how you taste. This is why you never get a dinner, you never get a movie, you only get a call in the night when he wants a little taste. And many times, he takes it to the head. So the first thing you have to do is make sure that your content is capped in your discussion with him that none of your stuff drips. And you gotta make sure that you don't open very easily. You have to make sure that you're just like about, my, 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 my people are from Jamaica, okay? So I'm a Jamaican. My parents are from Jamaica, Yemen, yeah, okay? Now, I want you to understand this. We have this jelly in Jamaica called guava jelly. In order to get that sucker open up, you gotta run it under hot water, and you gotta hit the back of it in order for it to pop. It, it's hard to open it up. That's how you got to be if you plan on keeping the joker that you got chasing you. And I know Steve Harvey said, give him the 90 day the challenge. But all the 90 day challenge does is give him an opportunity to hit something else for 90 days while he's waiting for you. It's, it, you have to be decisive. So you gotta make sure it's capped. You gotta make sure that because your, the, your content is good, it's good stuff. Say to your neighbor, say, it's good, stuff. it's good stuff. And you don't go around giving good stuff away for free. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> He's also looking for a container. A container something that has the ability to hold his content also. Now I know it's a lot that, we, that, I'm, that I'm asking of you, but the truth of the matter is this, that's what he's looking for. And um, the container will change. Every woman needs to know that the woman that you are today, you're not gonna be that woman five years from now. You're not gonna be that woman two years from now. You are evolving into your eternal you. So the woman that you are today, you're not gonna be that woman tomorrow. The guy that you meet, chances are, what you see is what you get. So you have to make sure that you pick a person who is five years to where you're growing. I'm telling the truth. Because most of us as men, and brothers, please don't be bothered by me giving some secrets. But most of us as men, as men have a shelf life and an expiration date. We're sort of like bread that you put on the shelf. And so we're good uh, for the, we have a shelf life and we have an expiration date. Once you go past our expiration, we're no good. You have some women who only eat stale bread. They never go to the grocery store and buy it for, at full value. They wait until it's put on sale. So if you purchase a man on sale, don't expect. Okay. And he's looking for a label. This is the mistake that many women are making today is that they now accept being in a relationship with a person who doesn't do labels. Who says stuff like that? Well, what's y'all? Well, I don't know what to call us. Y'all going together? I don't know. Is that your girlfriend? I don't know. Is that your man? I don't know. Uh, he say he don't do labels. 
He don't do labels. Does he have a shirt on? That's a label. Does he have shoes on? If he's, if he's wearing Nikes, that's a label. Everything, everything has a label in order to identify what it is. So you hanging out with a guy who comes to pick you up and he has his little dog with him. His dog is ting, 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 ting. There's this noise on, on the neck of the dog. The dog has got license. And you have none. We pray tonight that by the end of this night, that that courageous woman that's on the inside of you will place value on who you are and never put yourself on sale again. Louis Vuitton does not give sales. You're going to buy the product at its price. That's what tonight is all about. Now, for most men, most of us, and you got to work with us. The Lord is working with us. He's working with us. Men are like cell phones that has a coverage. If you have a cell phone and you have a plan, you stick to the plan, everything is cool. Plan is $79 a month, and it gives you unlimited what have you. But if you go out from out of your coverage, you start roaming. All right? So as long as we stay here, we good, we got full coverage. But we keep on moving and we wind up roaming. Now, brothers, when you roam, you wind up paying more for something that is covered in your plan. So that's the language that we want to talk about on tonight. And um, I'm just believing that at the end of the night, the calls will be through the roof and you will be on this path, on this journey for deliverance, for breakthrough, for healing, and to really, really get on with the rest and the second half of your life and spend no time locked up, knitted to a person that doesn't care anything about you.